everybody. Um, so I am currently on a cafe terrace with our good friend Seraph, um, and we are sitting right next to a very important um, historical monument in the city of Nijmegen, um, which sort of leads me to the topics of today's vlog. Seraph, what are we going to talk about today? Today we are going to be visiting other historical places, like about World War II in Nijmegen, and we are going to be like seeing other city views, seeing a bit. So we are currently in front of the Remembrance Monument called the Schommel, which is um, also called the Swing. And it is a monument honoring the around 800 people who died in that sort of first bombing of Nijmegen in World War II. And it is a swing because the place where this used to be was um, a sort of kindergarten and a lot of kids um, and nuns sort of died in the bombing and so the city decided to erect this swing monument to honor them and even as we've been sitting here a bunch of people have been coming over and reading the pla plaque um, and so it seems like it's sort of still gets remembered to this day which is pretty cool. Now we are going to go to some different parts of the city and sh show you some more um, monuments so watch out for that. famous church in Nijmegen as far as I'm aware. Um, you can sort of see it everywhere that you go within the city center. It's always like has a really gigantic steeple. And there's like this really cool information point. It's not in English, so I don't know what it says, but in almost all of these, these um, things that I've seen, there's like um, Dutch, English, German, and then there's like a small QR code that you can scan and get like a little historical audio journal, almost like you're in a museum. So it's almost like the city is your museum if you're thinking about it, but it seems really cool. This church is really pretty and I've always really enjoyed looking at it. But yeah, and there are little two very cute Dutch flags. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> So we are currently um, standing next to this like event restaurant center uh, and this is sort of next to Volkov Park and um, it's really cool and uh, the bridge here has a very long and illustrious history in Nijmegen's history especially like the recent stuff in terms of World War II. This is sort of the bridge that um, this old operation called Operation Market Garden happened on and I'm not a historian so I don't know all the details as much as a lot of other people but reading up around the history of this bridge is just generally really interesting and it has a sort of significance in the like the liberation of Nijmegen and there was like all of the stuff that happened on it in World War II this one and the other one which is down the river Um, so we made it to Alfalfa Park, we crossed the bridge, um, and they have like a very cool three-language info plate, and they have Dutch, English, and German, um, and it gives you a little bit of history about Alfalfa Park. A very bold statement, which is that, from a historical point of view, the Volkhof is probably the most inter interesting spot in the Netherlands, which, bold claim on the writers of this historical plaque. <laughs> Almost the entire history of Western Europe can be sensed from the strategic hill really high over the river Val. The Romans built a settlement here and stayed for 400 years. We ran into a bunker right now. Uh, yeah, so Clara? this is the Valkov Bunker, and I think that they have tours normally. It's actually my, I, I'm guessing, but I heard about a Valkov Bunker where um, the 
Nazis who were here, they like patrolled and had control of the bridges. And I think that this is where they would hide out so that they couldn't be attacked very easily. Um, and usually there's like tours and historical moments, uh, which is sort of unsettling that it's just here. But yeah, it's interesting history. You just like run across it. Clara and I are walking around the city center, just try, trying to look for the flakes on the ground. So, we have found something very special. Yeah, those are the plagues that we were like looking for the whole time in the city center. And they turned out to be just like right here. Yes. And those plagues symbolizes like the places that was being bombarded before. And like it's amazing to see like how many places like that was destroyed and then rebuilt again. It's like if you come here to see it, see it in person, it is like very shocking. Yeah. Yes, yes. So you can see like a very old thing over there that was probably still around in the 40s and then everything to this side marked by these plaques which like sort of go this way um, was all bombarded and then rebuilt. So. Yeah, Clara, do you want to tell us something about the wreath over there? Yes. Um, so it was just really recently um, Remembrance Day and then Liber Liberation Day in the Netherlands, and those are on May 4th and 5th, I believe. Um, yeah, the 5th is the Liberation Day. Yes, yeah. the 5th is Liberation Day. And so on Remembrance Day, which is sort of the day that they um, remember all of the people who died in World War II and the soldiers specifically, they put all of these really amazing wreaths um, by the Liberation Monument, which is right here in Hunter Park, I believe, it's next to Valkov. And um, all of the wreaths are sort of put there on uh, Remembrance Day, and they've been there for like a couple weeks. And so if you're ever here in the Netherlands around early in May, you can go check them out. Um, it's very cool. Usually there's like a crowd of people to watch them add the wreaths, but that did not happen this year, but yes. Currently we are at the War Cemetery in Nimihe. Here is the cemetery where all the foreign soldiers rest here in peace. I think now it's because of the Liberation Day, that's why like they are they're, uh, in front of all the tombs. There's a little rose in front of them. Uh, after seeing the engravings on the stone, I just feel like it's really like sad like when I see some people who like they are just like 18 or 15 but they like that very soon or someone who like they like that like when's the time that the war is almost gonna be finished it's just like very heart heartbreaking to see like all those people lying here. Whoa. Okay, um, so I hope that everybody enjoyed our Nine of History vlog. Obviously, we don't know all of the good stories, we're not Dutch, I'm sure that there are a lot of people who know a lot more about the city than we do, but as an international student, it's really nice to just be able to go for walks and see all of these amazing, super duper old historical monuments, um, and see how much people in this city sort of care about history, I think it's really nice. Yeah, I think like Nimhain is known as a very ancient city to everyone and it's like very nice to see all the war relics and how like Nimhain was like before. Yeah, I just think it's like the trip was very nice. Yeah, um, so without further ado, we will leave you to it and we will see you on the next vlog. Yeah, see you in the next vlog. Bye! Bye. Bye.